Okay, so I, I started the recording portion of the session here. Those of you who have joined us on the training event for tonight that says waiting for name, if you could go ahead and put your name in there so I know who we're talking to, that would be great. I want to make sure that we have uh, everybody's name on here so I know. Okay, Celine, how are you? You can uh, type in the chat box there just to uh, respond to anything that we may say or questions that we you may have. You can put it in the chat box. Tracy will uh, attend to those. I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking, Celine. Hi, Kathy. How are you? So tonight we're basically going to be talking about uh, essential oils and how the essential oils and the products that we have how they're made, some things like that, some general basic information so that you'll be able to answer questions that people may have or may not have um, asked before. And you'll be able to answer some of these basic questions and that should help you guys uh, be able to establish a good rapport with the essential oils for your customer base and allow you the opportunity to go ahead and, and uh, maybe sell some more essential oils, especially with what we have kind of coming down the pipeline for you to kind of go along with that. So, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get to get started here. So essential oils 101 is kind of a crash course. Oops. All right. So essential oils are basically highly volatile plant extracts. They're extracted through two primary methods. One is cold, process, uh, cold pressing, which is uh, done with extremely delicate citrus oil, uh, citrus fruits, orange, tangerine, lemon. Um, the second method is steam distillation. And that's generally used for your basic plant matter. Um, it's done with roots, bark, resins. Um, those types of things are steam distilled. And that's how they extract their oils from, from the... From plants so like an as example uh, like I said orange is an example that would be cold pressed and lavender would be an example of an oil that would be steam distilled and so you can see on this uh, screen here uh, the top steam distillation method as they put the matter in uh, whatever that may be and the vapors heat the water and then that goes into the distillation machine where they have the plant matter or the, where the leaves or bark or resins may be. Then the steam from that pushes the essential oil into the air and it goes into a cool down condenser. And that condenser then renders the oil, which goes into a vat of other, uh, of uh, basically a, a container or a collection tube. And then the, it is separated. The essential oil rises to the top. The floor water separates from that. And that's how they get the essential oil. And you can see the other picture is a is basically a, the crude method of cold pressing. There's no heat involved with cold pressing. They can't because it'll ruin the essential oil. And so what you have is a machine that has a hopper that you can drop your citrus rinds into, your, your peel, because that's where the essential oil from oranges and tangerines and lemons and bergamot, things like that that are, that are fruits, are extracted. And they put that into the hopper. The hopper drops down. There's a mechanical press that spins and grinds those down and there's a couple of little itty bitty lines that the oils will drain out of into a collection tube and then they filter that multiple times just to get the essential oil out of it and that's kind of how it's done so that's kind of like the basic uh basic process for you know the extraction methods for both types and those are the primary types that are used So the basics, knowing what you're getting, kind of having an idea of exactly what it is, 
that you're going to be purchasing with essential oils. And it varies because everybody has their own thought processes on essential oils. Every company thinks that their essential oils are better than everybody else's. And we see that all the time um, in their, their methods. And so because essential oils are volatile, um, we always recommend that you use a carrier oil when applying the essential oil to your skin. Because A, it's the safest method to be able to use the essential oil. And B, it guarantees that you're not going to have any adverse side effects or any kind of problems um, with an essential oil in the event that you might even be allergic to it. You don't even know. You could be allergic to frankincense oil and don't even know it. But if you use a carrier oil with it, it dilutes it down so that you're still getting the, the quality and value of the essential oil, but you've, you've uh, limited the strength and the volatility of that essential oil being applied to your skin. There are some essential oils that they say that you can apply directly to your skin, or it's called NEAT. Uh, be able to neatly apply that to your skin. Um, lavender is one of them, and lemon is another one that the people say that can be applied directly to the skin. And while that may be true, I still recommend that you use the carrier oil to make sure that you're safe. And I know there's a lot of hype um, about oils. And like I said, um, coming into this particular segment of whose oils are better or what you may see or hear from people that might sell other companies' oils. And a lot of it's just hype. And that's the, the key to that and understanding that is that is that is exactly what it is. It's hype. Okay. Because there's no such thing as therapeutic grade. That's a sales term that is used to sell the oils. A lot of companies and they enlist that term because there's nobody um, in, in the United States that guarantees therapeutic grade because the Food and Drug Administration, they don't they don't do that. And neither they don't they don't even they don't even mandate standards on essential oils, okay? And uh, the only companies that actually will do testing on these are ISO and uh, Anfor, which are both European companies. So um, what I can tell you is is that Saponify Naturals essential oils are are organic, and there are no fillers in them. So you, when you get that bottle of essential oil, you're getting 100% pure essential oil so there's nothing in there we don't fractionize it with coconut oil or anything like that at all so it allows you um, to be able to sell the essential oils and tell people that they're getting a 100 percent pure organic essential oil when i said fillers um, in this statement basically what i'm talking about is fillers and essential oils are chemicals those chemicals can either be added after they're they're distilled during distillation or during the process of growing the plants um, the trees or whatever, and then that residue kind of remains after the distillation process. And so there are a lot of companies that just buy uh, from a wholesaler or whatever, and they take that from the wholesaler and sell it, and they don't necessarily always know exactly what it is that they're getting. And so I find that to be um, kind of not really the way you want to do it. And so we have been sourcing our essential oils uh, for at least 15 years directly from the the farms so they come directly from the manufacturer the growers of the essential oil the distillers of the essential oil um, and so the best the best oils are sourced from their natural habitat so in other words like as an example frankincense oil okay that's sourced from africa the middle east and indonesia because the the boswella serrata boswella carteri uh, those trees all grow in those regions naturally Places like Jordan, United Arab Emirates, um, India, uh, just all those countries there, Madagascar, um, the Congo, um, right along the, the Cape of Africa. You'll find a lot of those trees and more than just the Boswella tree as well. But that's a natural habitat for those types of trees. And so generally what you tend to find is, is that you will always want to make sure that your oils come from where they grow. Because if somebody were to go and get a Boswella seed and plant it here in the United States, you wouldn't get, first of all, the tree wouldn't grow, okay? Because there's a specific type of humidity, temperature, soil, that's why it only grows there, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Just toss down in the chat box if that makes sense. Um, if not, then I can explain it a little bit more. So. All right, very good, Valerie. I see that it makes sense to you. I just want to make sure that I don't um, uh, bypass anybody um, or if I'm going too fast on something, let me know. Uh, the key to this is understanding these basics about essential oils 
because when you understand the basics, it doesn't matter who you talk to about it, whether it's somebody from doTERRA or Young Living or uh, Mountain Rose or um, uh, Pure Therapy, any of these companies that sell essential oils, uh, they, they won't have this type of information. They won't have this type of knowledge, okay? Okay, so so a question, and then this is a really, really good question. Um, it says, it makes sense, but please explain the volatile meaning in regards to essential oils, okay? So we're going to use lemon oil as an example, all right? So a lemon that you slice up and put in your tea um, or make lemonade with when you go to fairs they make lemonade lemons are you know are nice they are very flavorful but lemon essential oil as an example one drop one drop of lemon oil from a essential oil is the equivalent of nine full lemons okay so volatility um is not just like uh, a danger signal it's also a strength signal it also tells you that the essential oil has a lot more uh, potency okay in it and so we use the word volatile because we want people to think about diluting the essential oil with the carrier oil when they use it and so the word volatile allows them to kind of get a better understanding or grasp on the fact that this isn't something that I should take lightly and I should really pay attention to the uses on this because if I don't then that might be an issue Yeah, so just uh, if everybody could just mute, um, that'll put the echo. Uh, Valerie's having some echoing. So if everybody could just mute their, make sure they're muted, uh, that would be good. Now, does that make sense on the volatile? It's uh, actually, it's uh, really more in regards to potency. Uh, it's more of a potency standard. Uh, but in the true definition of an essential oil, they use the word volatile because it's extracted in steam distillation, so that's the term that's used. It's a scientific term that every company uses to explain uh, what the essential oil basically is. All right. So my favorite essential oils, as an example, um, are the blends that I've made over the last 15 years. And the key to essential oils is understanding um, basically understanding how the essential oils kind of work with one another. Um, and I could spend weeks with you guys on each essential oil, and there's hundreds of them, okay? But we'll be putting together some short two to three minute videos uh, talking about uh, a lot of the oils that are in our signature line, a lot of the oils that are in our premier line, and a lot of the, uh, the oils that are, exist in our um, exclusive line. Uh, those videos will be a specific essential oil like Lang Lang, and we'll be talking about that specifically just to give you a little bit more knowledge base. And what we'll try to do is make sure that the videos are specifically um, essential oil driven, uh, the benefits of the essential oil and the quality of the essential oil, and that'll be it. And really, you don't need to get into anything else beyond that. Um, So the essential oil uh, companies that exist out there are, are vying to get people to buy their essential oil, okay? Um, and they'll basically tell you that their essential oil is better than your essential oil or, or somebody else's essential oil. They'll use a term like therapeutic grade. They'll basically say things like, um, uh, you know, ours is a certified therapeutic grade essential oil or ours is C to seal. There's a lot of standard terms out there. Those are actually all just sales pitches and they're made up terms that those companies use as a marketing tool uh, basically to sell their essential oil. Um, there is no organization in the United States that has set a standard of what essential oil should be. And this is why it is so important um, to know that, that uh, how we buy our, our oils, okay? So all the oils that we purchase are GC and MS tested. And that way I can always take that fingerprint and compare it to each batch that we get. So I know that we're buying an oil that is organic, that is pure, and doesn't have any fillers or any chemicals in it from that process. So um, GC stands for gas chromatography. And that's a system, it's a, chem uh, it's a chemical test that they use 
to basically evaluate the constituents of the essential oil and they can tell you what exactly is in each one. MS stands for mass spectrometry and that's how they can take it and say okay then we see that the this oil has a standard weight of this and we can see that the chemical uh, makeup of that is consistent with an organic lavender oil and then you get these tests and you hold that test for an organic essential oil and that way each and every time we buy them we have that that test to compare the new test to to make sure that it holds true to the value of what we're looking for and to make sure that we're not getting something that doesn't meet our standards um, as an example we got a coffee oil for our uh, grind for our grind and um, our soap basically and it was bad and we actually before I had the opportunity to evaluate it they would have made a batch of soap with it and it didn't set up properly and because it didn't set up properly um, you know we ruined I think it was 200 bars of soap that we had to throw away because the oil ruined the soap and so we're, we take very very seriously the value of what we do when we purchase essential oils because we want to make sure that when we make our products the shampoos the soaps the lotions the salves um, the facial toners uh, you know the facial masks and things like that that we're buying the very best ingredients that are available on the market uh, because our products need to be the very best on the market and that's how we stay relevant we compete with our you know within our, our marketplace and we're able to be the top uh, company in in what we already uh, have done for the last 15 years and it, just to give you guys an example of this is we've already been approached by other direct sales companies that want us that wanted to buy us and because we provide something that they don't have and it's a market that they want to get into and we've turned them all down because we know that what we're doing is obviously the right thing otherwise they wouldn't be contacting us to want to buy our company so that's an awesome feeling though because we know that we're doing exactly what we need to be doing um, anybody have any questions thus far on anything that I went over before we get into the blends because I am going to be talking about the blends tonight because those are near and dear to me all right very good so we're gonna start off with purity okay so first of all you see there uh, on the purity blend, uh, the pur purity oil blend I created is, is very similar to like thieves oil, okay? Um, except I kind of put my own twist on it. And it's a powerhouse blend. It was developed for cold and flu season. And it's great for diffusing, um, inhaling, and uh, adding, the, adding the purity product line to your daily regimen. Because uh, it's going to keep you healthy, especially during Thanksgiving, Christmas when your you know nieces nephews or kids get sick at school they come over um, you use this in your home and diffuse it uh, I can I'll guarantee you that you won't get sick okay we've been doing this for years and have had you know 30 and 40 people at our house for Thanksgiving and some of those people come in and they you can see their nose is red they've had a cold or they're battling something and because we put the, the purity on under our nose rub it on our hands and keep it in uh, you know in the diffuser and keep the rooms diffusing uh, we just don't get sick and it's, it's a benefit because one of the things I love about our products are they do what they say they're going to do and that's been something that we've been proud of you know going on close to uh, uh, a little over 15 years now but the, the purity blend consists of cinnamon bark clove rosemary lemon and eucalyptus radiata oils all blended together in specific volume um, which is our trade secret to provide you with this wonderful blend that we call purity and it's great for your immunity system and it's a it's great for immunity defense and in this segment I have these uh, did you know portions um, did you know that using purity deodorant is a great way to deliver the essential oil blend to the body because it is directly absorbed into the lymph system and so what that does for you is it provides you um, with a wonderful uh, direct impact and almost an immediate impact to your immune system and we use purity like I said during the holidays when kids are sick they are coming over and you can see the uh, label there that is the label that actually goes on to the uh, the box uh, that you'll be receiving when you guys do your thousand dollars in sales this month and you'll be getting all 12 of the roll-ons for free 
And I hope everybody does that because I really want to see people uh, accomplish that. And so does anybody have anything, uh, any comments about purity, any questions about the purity uh, that they may have? I just would like to add that I use the purity right now through the fall because for some reason I have fall allergies and um, I take the purity roll on and I'll roll it on to like my hands and rub it under my nose. I use the soap in the shower. I use the lotions. I have a little lotion in my purse. And I try to use it as much as I can during the day. And it gives me that extra um, immunity building for the allergy season for myself. That's a great addition to, to the purity uh, line. So um, what, I also, what I also love about purity is that it's just such a good smelling blend. It has a, just a really kind of almost a... It's almost earthy, but it's spicy and warm. And I always like using it. Um, when we fly on planes, I'll use it on airplanes because I have a thing about the uh, closed-in spaces on the airplanes. I don't know if they're filtering the air real well or not. And so I know that if I've got my purity roll on with me and I use it on the planes, that I, I'm going to be good to go. Uh, so that's one of the great things about uh, the purity blend. And it's one of my favorite, actually. The next one we're going to talk about is probably overall the been the longest uh, product to make um, in our lines and that's the Magi oil okay uh, Magi was basically created from the book of Matthew so basically created from the book of Matthew um, when the three wise men uh, came to Jesus in the manger and brought him frankincense myrrh and gold and I kind of depicted uh, my own kind of thought process from that and when cinnamon bark actually crystallizes, it turns gold. And so my thought process was is frankincense, myrrh, and cinnamon bark were worth more than gold during those times. And so I think that that's what they brought them because that was also something that signified health. And it was really good for people to um, use to keep themselves healthy, um, to improve the circulation, combat insomnia. It's great for inflammation and pain. And so when I was actually making this, it took me three years um, at a minimum to make this particular product. And I actually worked with people who were experts in their field of these essential oils. And, you know, they worked with me. Um, I had a gentleman out of Israel. I had uh, another guy out of the University of Oklahoma and a guy out of the University of Indiana. And we spoke in uh, great lengths about what I was doing, how I was using the oils, what volume to use um, of each one and how they would work together. And the reason why I reached out to these particular people is because each one of them are masters of that particular essential oil. And so knowing that and knowing about, uh, knowing about the fact that these guys are the, are the most knowledgeable people of these particular essential oils, it made sense for me to reach out to them to, pr to produce this particular product. And so basically, um, Magi, is just an amazing all-around oil. I mean, there's an, I don't know that there's any end to the things that it does. It's great for bruising. Okay, it's good for headaches and migraines. It works well for insomnia. I just take it and rub it on my jawline and right down my jawline and behind my ears, and it helps me sleep better. Um, it soothes actually arthritis pain. I mean, it is like it's like uh, it's like on steroids uh, almost. It's so strong. And that it does so well for the uh, arthritis pain that people have and joint pain. Um, we've actually had people come into our, our location that have purchased the Magi and they come in, they were using a, a cane um, because they had a bad knee and they use the Magi on their knee and then they can, they leave. Um, they come back a couple weeks later to buy more Magi because they're no longer using a cane because the pain is gone. And so there's things like that that we have that we could use as testimonials. Uh, but you know, you gotta be really careful how you go about doing that because a lot of times if you were to use testimonials, um, then you gotta be careful that you're not claiming that you're, you're curing anything because then the, that would be considered a drug and the food and drug administration would get involved. And that's kind of a, a whole nother ball game that we're just not really ready to get involved with right now. Um, uh, because we're not really a drug company. So the Magi also is a wonderful salve for menstrual cramping or stomach cramping 
and you can, you know, sell it as that. That's another great selling feature for it. And I will address the hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid issue. It does work on the anti-inflammatory portion of that. Um, it can be a little bit warm because of the cinnamon oil in there, but it is very, very effective on um, hemorrhoids as well. Yeah, actually, my dad used it on his and told me that it was very invigorating. I think that was the exact term that he used. I didn't ask him to clarify. So mm -hmm. um, you can figure that out for yourself. All right, and so the next uh, blend that we're going to be talking about is Grounded. And Grounded is kind of, kind of an amazing blend um, because it helps people that suffer with PMS, with post-traumatic stress disorder, hormone issues. It's got a, a great earthy tone. Um, it's great for just calming down stresses. Uh, and, but it's not the same type of stresses. The stresses are different. Everybody has different types of stresses that they deal with. Um, these are primarily more emotional uh, stresses, uh, things that people have a lot of anxiety about or worry about. And, you know, people worry about simple things in their life. You know, um, I got to get home to get the mail or I got to get dinner on or I've got, you know, I got to get the house cleaned up before my husband comes home or whatever the case may be. Those types of anxieties and stresses um, are grounded works really well for because it helps to calm the mind. It helps to kind of get you just relaxed and kind of um, in the, you know, kind of in a almost a, a state of, of uh, mental clarity or or even basically a calm uh, calms the uh I guess you, I would probably call it like a, uh, almost like a, uh, an overstimulated mind where you have all these voices going on at the same time. It kind of helps bring that down. And in Grounded, we, we make that with sweet orange, uh, frankincense, patchouli, clove, cinnamon bark, and pine essential oils. So it's got uh, a lot of essential oils in it. And I'll tell you, the, the one thing about the Grounded oil is, is here locally in our community, I have a lot of teachers that actually diffuse this in their classrooms because it helps to keep the kids focused and keeps them relaxed and also reduces anxiety because they're going to be doing testing, they're going to be doing book work, or they may have to read in front of the class or do things like that. And this really helps them. And uh, a lot of these teachers come back to us every year and, and come in and buy this essential oil because they know that it works because they see how much it affects the kids in their class. And it's been a big benefit to them. So it's, it's really kind of neat to get those stories back from people and kind of see how that works and hear those uh, stories because it makes us feel good about what we do because we know we're being effective and we're helping people. Um, and when you're at parties or shows, make sure that you're promoting the blends in full lines for people because the grounded will work better on a child if that child is bathing in it, using the salts using the bath bombs, using the scrubs, because that's how they're getting the essential oil delivered to their skin. So if they're using the lotion every day and things, that's how they're going to get the best effects from this, because it's not a miracle blend. It's not going to be rubbed on you one time and you're just, you're just cured. So you want to make sure that when you're at your shows and you're talking to people, that you make sure that they understand that they need to put this into their daily life if they want the benefits from it. And also sending around samples because grounded smells different on me than it does on my daughter. So when we use it, she has a different smell from it. So you want to make sure that people are using it on themselves. Don't have them put it on somebody else and smell it because it will smell completely different depending on the body chemistry. And I'm happy that Tracy said that too, because she brings up a good point. Everybody's body chemistry is different. And because of that, you may pick up the clove oil in a blend over the patchouli or the frankincense or the sweet orange. So, so that's one of the things that people have to understand is it will definitely smell different on you than it will on somebody else. Um, one thing I want to touch on too with Grounded is Grounded is great for, for anybody that suffers with ADHD or ADD because it does help to kind of calm the mind and, and kind of get people grounded or focused. So I think that that's a... a a great way of promoting the grounded blend and once we're finished with the uh, live tonight we're actually going to be you know obviously putting this up on the consultant page so people can go back and review these uh, essential oil blends and the information that we're kind of talking about tonight so 
um, that's definitely uh, an area that people really need to kind of pick up their, their knowledge base on. And so this will be on there for you. You'll be able to kind of go back and just kind of go over all the things that we're talking about. And because we use uh, sweet orange and along with cinnamon bark in this, um, those two oils combined right there, uh, that's where you really get this earthy tone um, in this. The frankincense and patchouli, patchouli especially has an earthy tone to it. But cinnamon bark is a really strong and powerful oil, and it kind of can overpower a lot of the other oils. And patchouli is very pungent. And when I say pungent, I mean it's got this smell to it. So people are either going to love it or they're going to hate it. And that's why we, you know, we add other oils with the patchouli when we make patchouli products because we want people to love it even if they hate it. And a lot of people do. So I'd say that the, the base on patchouli is great with our customers because they love that, uh, that little bit of amber oil that we put in with it. So if we don't have any questions about grounded, I'm going to move forward here to our next blend. Is everybody good with that? And so this blend right here is actually uh, a pretty awesome blend. It's Vitality. And Vitality was developed to help with mental clarity, focus, and it promotes clear and stable thinking. Um, it's great for people who have to read or teach. It's good to go uh, to use this, roll it on before you have to go into a business meeting or speak in public. Um, it's a great way to kind of get you going in the morning. It's almost like a great pick-me-up. Instead of, instead of uh, using uh, coffee or something like that, you could kind of substitute this for that. We have another blend that's great in that same way, too, uh, we'll be talking about. But with Vitality, um, it's, it's a primarily it's a citrus blend because we use sweet orange oil in this, tangerine. We use wintergreen, pink grapefruit, and lemon. And those all combined together, uh, it just smells awesome. As a matter of fact, I think... Um, root beer? Is this the one that smells like root beer? People say it smells like root beer to them. Mm -hmm. Might be revive, uh, re revive, yeah. relax. And so uh, we'll get to that one in a minute. But the vita vitality is awesome. But one thing I will tell you, and this is important, is that fair-skinned people, okay? When I mean fair-skinned, I mean really light-skinned people, red hair, um, or even like light-skinned blondes, things like that. That use citrus oils. Citrus oils are photovallic, and what that means is that they can cause a reaction in sunlight. Now you have to put this directly on, and you have to use a lot of it, and you have to use it almost direct. You know, it almost be directly from the essential oil bottle. But because you're using a carrier oil and you're diluting it, you really don't have to worry about this too much. But there are certain people though that have very sensitive skin and they're very sensitive to sunlight. And what may or potentially could happen is is they could get a burn or sunburn from using an oil like this and so it's very important to let them know that if they're going to go out into the sun um, you know they can use it but find other areas of their body that's going to be clothed to use the oil on instead of exposed uh, skin like the face and things of that nature um, and that's just a general warning it's not necessarily that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to affect everybody that way but because citrus oils are photovallic you can potentially have that problem and so it's always good to have that in the back of your mind when you're talking to people. Um, and, but what's great about Vitality is it's uplifting. Uh, it's because it's, it's got the pink grapefruit in it. That, that's what we use in our Harmony, um, pink grapefruit oil. And pre, pink grapefruit's great for, you know, the uh, babies. And it's great for the mood swings. It's, it's just great for balancing. And so that's why it's a great addition to this particular blend. And this is actually a pretty good seller. Well, Vitality is probably one of our one of our best or better selling uh, blends um, as a whole. And we have the Relax Blend. This is kind of a neat a neat uh, product line because this calms the senses. And so a lot of people are like, "Well, I use lavender at night." Okay, well that's fine. Lavender is a great oil. It's actually one of my one of my top five oils if you're using individual oils as a term. But blends bring about so much more in value and, and, and use because they have so many more benefits because there are so many oils that are blended together that provide so many different things. And Relax is a blend that assists people who have panic attacks, who have massive anxieties or overstimulation, restlessness, restless leg syndrome, who just can't seem to calm down after a hard day's work or 
they just get wound up or they're you know, just really uptight. Uh, this is a wonderful essential oil to diffuse. Um, it's actually one of my wife's favorite oils. Uh, the blend is one of her favorites. She just absolutely loves it. Um, the relaxed blend consists of lavender, frankincense, scotch pine, myrrh, anise, bergamot, and lang lang oils. Okay. Um, it, it's a powerhouse. Okay. And so being, being that the blend that we use in this has the like the lavender as a primary oil there you go you get that everybody wants to like die you know just immediately uh say well I, I just use lavender well yeah absolutely this has lavender in it but it also has anise and anise oil has been proven through scientific studies to calm down people that suffer from anxiety and restlessness and uh that's one of the that's one of the areas right there that you can use as a, as a, a tool uh, to make sure people understand because all these oils are blended together in this, it provides all these extra benefits, okay? And myrrh, uh, myrrh oil is a phenomenal oil for calming the nerves. Frankincense, the frankincense that we use in this particular one is great at uh, providing that, uh, that, you know, calmness of people suffer with Maybe they're overstimulated and they get a headache. You know, relax will help calm that down. A lot of essential oils, a lot of essential oils do a lot of the same things and have specific benefits, but they also have their own singular benefits that other oils don't have. And so that's why we do this, and that's why we build these blends, and that's what we've done over the last 15 years creating these blends, and so that we can have these uh, wonderful, you know, and, and it's just seven blends that we offer in the roll-ons, but we have these wonderful tools that we can go to that are all natural uh, and we get away from pharmaceutical products and we don't have to take a pill to fix a problem. We can use a roll-on, we can diffuse it, we can do all these wonderful things that naturally affect our family and we don't have to worry about whether we're harm harming anybody or not because we know that we're not. You rub on your skin, it smells amazing. You don't have to wear a perfume, and you're getting medicinal benefits for that. I just think it's so nice to me. I, I've gotten to the point now when I go into stores or I go places and it's very fragrant, like they have um, fragrance oils burning or things like that. I almost get a headache because they the smells are very hard on my brain. Like when they go in my in my nose, they make my brain hurt. So what I love about our products is not only do these things have a purpose, but they smell amazing. So once you find the one that you love, you don't need to have a perfume on anymore. You just rub that relax on. And that, and I do that one because it's my favorite. And if anyone who knows me knows I have, I have a lot of trouble relaxing. So that one is a great one for me to use every day. Yeah. And, and just to touch on something, um, People that suffer with Asperger syndrome, um, Relax would be a good essential oil for that, good blend for that, but also Grounded would be another good blend for that. I think we had a question or a statement about that. And so um, people that have Asperger's is definitely, uh, I would recommend Relax. I would recommend Grounded. Either one of those would work well. And so, again, like I said, this is one of Tracy's favorites. This is a great people love this particular one um i will i will i will say this even though it says like if you drive you know use this in the car to help keep people uh being anxious and stuff like that i probably don't know that i would do that a whole lot because the lavender and and driving in a vehicle uh you can get kind of tired when using the relaxed one because it does calm you down it, it, it creates a lot of dopamine which brings you you know brings you down um and gets the anxiety down so i'd be really careful with that uh, and be very for people like me i might fall asleep while i'm driving <laughs> that's right now moving on this is one of the this is probably the most popular blend in the way of um something that we have coming for you guys uh for next year which you're gonna love but um it comes in a full set with the with the scrubs and everything and the revive blend is it's just it's the one that you want to use to rejuvenate the mind the spirit promote healthy energy for the body 
This is the one that you're going to substitute for um, other stimulants like coffee, energy drinks, things of that nature. That's This is where you're going to go. You're going to go to this one. You're going to use this in the morning. Um, just like Vitality, both of these can be used to replace that stimulant. And what's nice is, is that, uh, you know, if you suffer with any type of uh, allergy issues, if you have a cat, you're allergic to a cat, like we have, my son has a cat here at the house, and both myself and Tracy are, <laughs> excuse me, um, highly allergic to cats, but we love this cat for whatever reason. And we we'll just uh, actually get the revive out, roll it on, and then we don't have those allergy issues with the cat. And what's nice is, is that revive is something that people are, are really taken back by um, initially because when they, they first use it, they're like, wow, I mean, that's kind of potent. It's, it's pretty strong. Well, it is, and there's two reasons why. One of those is, is wintergreen because this, the revive blend consists of wintergreen, tea tree, cypress, cinnamon bark, and peppermint essential oils. And, and I'll tell you, wintergreen is potent, okay? Because wintergreen has menthol in it, and so does peppermint. And so when you put those two together, um, they, they create a very strong blend consistently. So we break it up with tea tree and, um, and then cypress. And cypress itself, we use a blue cypress oil in this. The blue cypress is a very expensive essential oil. Um, and with the cinnamon bark, which is also a very expensive essential oil, it creates this blend, which just is, it's got a sweet mini uh, smell to it. And it is just amazing. And when you have people at your shows or you're talking to people about the revived blend, the best thing that I can tell you is, is that because it does such a good job of providing energy, and it, when I say provide energy, I don't just mean provide you with energy so you can go do things. I mean, it makes you feel like you have energy mentally. It makes your mental, your mental state kind of changes when you use this because it refreshes the mind. It almost, it, it's almost like relax takes you down, revive picks you up, okay? And it's, it's a good way of kind of talking about it um, without having to, you know, drink caffeine or, you know, do anything like that at all. And so I think that this is just a, a wonderful way of, of treating just basic things um, like headaches and um, or just when you feel a little off, you know, you get up in the morning, it's like, man, I just don't feel like myself today. Use the revive. You, you know, that's that that'll, that will definitely either tell you that you are not, you know, that you're, that you're ill or something's going on if it doesn't do anything for you. But I can tell you for sure, you can you can diffuse this in the home during the winter time, and the mood of your family members will be like incredible and you won't know why they'll just be like man i just feel good and i'm, I'm really you know like they're, they'll be happy um there'll be a lot of energy and it's also good to use if you got to have people uh cleaning around the house and this is a good a good essential oil to diffuse uh, for that because you kind of keep everybody motivated and the revive soap is awesome uh i think that that's probably one of my favorite soaps to use i'm a i use the coastline um, as a as my primary soap, I love the coastline, um, but the revive soap is just invigorating the shower, um, and I just really love it. So the next one is sensation. Now we've had sensation for a very very long time. As a matter of fact, this is one of the very first blends that I ever made. The sensation blend um, was created to relieve congestion from the flu and from general colds and allergies. Um, and then just basic arthritis pain, like just general pain, not really strong pain, but just general arthritis issues. Um, it does a really good job uh, with that. And it's also great to uh, use for just all sorts of issues like nausea and things of that nature. And we'll get into that here in just a second. But uh, the sensation blend consists of peppermint, eucalyptus, and camphor. And you provide those three oils together. They all have unique qualities. Peppermint has the menthol. Eucalyptus also has menthol in it. And in, in the um, eucalyptus family, there's multiple eucalyptus type oils. And then camphor oil also has a phenomenal um, menthol quality to it as well. And a little story for you about the sensation is that when my nephew's uh, daughter was born, she they, they smoke. And so they would smoke around her 
and we would get her and we we for the first year of her life we basically raised her and we would get her bring her into the store with us because that's where we would keep her during the day when we were making things and we would open up the top of the salt jar and just kind of hold her over that for a few minutes and let her take in the the sensation blend and the in, inhalation of the uh essentials and the aromatherapy of that and her little nose would start running and and we would rub the salve the sensation salve on her face and it would clear her up and when we would take her home uh, back to her parents in the evening after they would get home from work they would be like wow she's just breathing so well i wonder what do you guys do for that and we would tell them this is what we use and so they would keep it at home and they would use it as well and that's kind of how they got started using the sensation and a couple of the other product lines that we carry but it's great actually we found this out on a trip uh we were going to our north carolina to the beach and my son does not ride well in the back seat and so we put this in his belly button and the nausea went away in about a minute minute and a half so if you get people that are car sick or have problems riding in cars or motion sickness go on cruises trips different things like that or have to fly this is a phenomenal essential oil to use to take away that uh uh, the travel anxiety and also take away the nausea um, or the car sickness or the, you know, the sickness that they might get motion sickness. And one of my favorite things about the sensation essential oil is that when you use the spa salts or the bath salts in the tub, when you pour it in there, the heat from the water will immediately make that peppermint oil and um, camphor oil and eucalyptus like 10 times as strong. So if you're not feeling well and you get in the bathtub and you actually use the uh, salts and any of the, uh, like drop a couple drips of the oil into the water of your actual essential oil, it will just open up everything. And I think that um, Revive does has the same benefit of that. Is everybody good on, on everything thus far? Uh, do you have any questions on anything that we went over yet? Yeah, that's that's about about the truth. So um, we're going to move on to the next one here. And so basically, what we have is the offerings that we have for the essential oils. And what we put in here are the 12 blends or the seven blends and the five essential oils that we have in the roll on. And so in the signature Sorry about that, as somebody bumped my mouse. Okay, so for the signature oils, they're $22 each for the 15 milliliter bottle, which is actually bigger than most other essential oil companies. They only sell in 10 milliliter bottles in most cases. So you get this, you're gonna get about eight cents uh, drop, and there's approximately 330 drops per bottle. And in the signature line, we have the Sensation Blend, tea tree, lavender, lemon, peppermint, and sweet orange. And you'll see that there's asterisks next to the tea tree, the lavender, the lemon, the peppermint, and the sweet orange. And that means that that's designating those as booking credits. There are booking credits available for you uh, when you get people to book shows at events that you're currently holding. And you can see the picture down there at the bottom. The I think there's a picture of the lavender booking credit. So that shows you what it comes in and then we have our premier essential oil and the premier oil um, they're 35 dollars each 12 cents a drop the same amount of uh, drops in those bottles as well and that comes in our revive our relax our vitality and our grounded blend those are all in our premier oils and then we have our exclusive oils those are 55 dollars each or 18 cents a drop 
And so you can see that they're they're really not that expensive if you if you're looking at it per drop, okay? And that comes with our purity and our magi. All right. So the benefit of selling the actual essential oil bottle is is that if someone buys a roll-on oil, they can make their own roll-ons with an essential oil bottle and they're going to get probably 15 to 20 refills on their roller bottle. We were so excited about this that we are actually bringing out avocado oil and witch hazel and that will be it for sale as well. So you'll be able to sell those in the eight ounce bottle and uh, we'll probably have those next month to offer. So they can buy the essential oils, they can buy the avocado oil, and then they can make their own roll-ons with these. And there's like 15 refills is amazing out of a $22 bottle of essential oil. And, and one other oil too we were thinking about bringing out is also jojoba oil as a carrier. And so we have the avocado and potentially the jojoba oil as a carrier. And that will allow people to utilize the essential oil bottles to always have uh, the roll-ons full, okay? And we're going to be selling those in individual pieces, and then we're probably going to be selling them in kits as well. And then the other thing um, that I want to get you guys, I'm going to just tease you a little bit about this, but uh, coming out next year, um, we're going to be doing uh, room sprays or spritzers, and we'll have these available in all of these blends as well, and these, these uh, essential oil blends for you to have to take with you to spray in the car, in your bedroom, bathroom, um, wherever you may need to use it, and or on yourself, um, and they're, they're phenomenal. So I, I'm really looking forward to, to these. I think you guys are gonna love it. And I think that the benefit to a lot of the uh, products that we're gonna be offering you is, is that you're gonna have multiple ways of getting people to look at the essential oil program that we have with our company, uh, we don't. We are not necessarily an essential oil company. We're a skincare company, but we have essential oils, and we sell the very best, top quality essential oils that anybody else has. And so I think that when you look at the offerings that we'll have here very soon, you're going to be excited about the things that we're doing because you're going to have more products to offer and a package a deal that you can put together for your customers and the reorders will continue okay and this is a great spot for you to get them to go on to the uh, recurring order program and get that kind of rolling for yourself okay. we offer the roll-ons now for sale for 18 dollars and then you can also buy them for $9 as a bonus buy. If you spend $40 in an event order, you can put a roll-on on there for $9. Now, one of the tips that I heard from another consultant was, is make an event onto your page that's always there. It's like you do it maybe once a month when there's specials out. And then you tell your customers who aren't you know, actually having a party or they're just wanting to place an order, to actually order through the event. You can call it the roll-on event or something where, and then encourage them to click on the event and place their order. And then they'll be able to be eligible for a roll-on for $9 when they spend 40. So if they're gonna place an order anyway, you might as well try to get them to do that. And then at the end of the month, you could give away the hostess benefit as a, you know, auction them off or give them away to one of the best customers on the party. So those are some other ways of really promoting these booking gifts, the booking um, credits, and all of the um, bonus buys. Yeah, and the, and the great thing about having these other products that you can kind of use to promote the essential oils the with the carrier oils is, is that they're going to give you value in the fact that the people are going to see that oh, well, I just have this bottle. What am I supposed to do with it? And we're actually going to put together um, a how-to with the roller and how to use the essential oil and how to put that together and uh, possibly even a couple um, other options on blends that they could potentially do um, in their home. But the great thing about essential oils are is uh, you just want to 
make sure, like I said, just to kind of reiterate, um, always use a carrier oil with them because they can be extremely potent. And so you want to make sure you're protecting yourself and protecting your customers by just always making sure that you tell them that. It's almost like a disclosure uh, to make sure that they understand that because essential oils are so potent and so strong that you always want to make sure that you can use the, the carrier oil with it and so it's safe. And then the next thing that you want to always remember is, is that there are only two primary ways that essential oils are created. Uh, primary way one, that is cold pressing, and those are done with the citrus oils, uh, like orange and tangerine and bergamot, and lemon, things like that, because they're very sensitive. You can't use heat with them or it destroys the oil. The second way is steam distillation, and that's done with your plant matter, like your uh, leaves and your petals and your roots and your bark and your resins. Um, as an example, uh, frankincense oil, as an example. Frankincense oil is, they, they basically pull it out of a tree like they do maple syrup. And then that syrup, the frankincense syrup, um, solidifies into what they call frankincense tears. And so it's like little resin nodules. And then those resin nodules are what they use to create the frankincense oil. Okay, and so they actually take this bucket full of the frankincense tears, put them in the, the, the distiller, and then they make it that way. And so that is uh, just an example of some, you know, of some type of options that they do. And they do the same thing with myrrh. Um, myrrh is actually a real heavy, thick oil when it comes. And um, we actually have to um, put it in warm water to thin it out to use it. Um, otherwise, it's almost like a syrup. It's really, really strong. And just remember this, when people say, well, where do you get your essential oils? Say, our oils are all directly purchased from the farms. We've had a relationship with farms all over the world for 15 years, and we buy our essential oils directly from the manufacturer of the oil. We never buy the oil from a wholesaler. We don't do that. So always remember that. Uh, that's a, something that you can carry with you because People ask you questions. That's probably the primary question that most people get asked is, where do you get your oils from? Well, what does it matter, really, in the sense that they're asking that question? That's a loaded question because they want to know if your oil is a doTERRA oil or if it's a Young Living oil. That's the primary question. That's what they're getting. That's the answer they're looking for because they're probably a doTERRA rep or probably a Young Living rep. And so that's their main, you know, that's, that's that kind of that push question. Let me just simply say, we all get our essential oils from the same places because they are not anywhere special. They're not made for them. They're not farmed for them. We all get our essential oils at the same places. It's just how you, when you get them back, what you do with them. We could get them back and dilute them down and sell them back out to you, but we do not. We take them straight from the bottle and put them into the bottle, the 15 milliliter bottle, and sell it to you. So it is not diluted. And I always, I love that. Don't ever feel like you're being challenged by those questions because they're given a bill of goods when they, when they join their company. And that is basically that their, their essential oils are better than anybody else's because they farm all of their oils. And that is not true. So just simply say, we all get our essential oils from the same places. I'm so glad to hear that you use essential oils too. And leave it at that because there is no competition with it. We're all in business to make money. So we just need to really be careful with those. And everybody's trying to make money. Well, and, and the other thing too about that is, is, you know, just you capitulate to the fact that, oh, like Tracy said, I'm glad that you use essential oils. Isn't it awesome what essential oils can do? And just change, change the conversation because you, otherwise you're going to sit there and waste 20 minutes talking to them about essential oils. And when you need to be focused on doing uh, other things, selling your products, you know, and promoting your business. And so the most important thing about tonight's training is, is those seven blends, what we've created them for, how you can promote those blends. And the fact that, you know, this training will be available to you to go back and kind of refresh with on those blends. Um, and the simple fact that we use pure organic essential oils in all of our products. 
And remember, we buy our oils directly from the farms. That's just like we said, we'll reiterate that again. Um, if anybody has any questions, once this goes up live on the consultant only page, start dropping your comments and questions in there. Um, and then we will uh, touch base uh, throughout the week on those and make sure that we get them answered. And just to let everybody know that again, uh, two, two to three minute videos will be coming out for everybody and they'll be directly uh, specific on individual essential oils themselves instead of um, kind of like a, a broad uh, coverage of, of multiple oils. And so we'll try to make those uh, real simple for you. And um, one thing I, I can tell you is, is uh, next weekend, there will not be a live training. Uh, next weekend, we are going to be um, out of town at an event. So we will basically uh, be skipping that training event uh, next weekend. And so we'll follow up with you that following weekend. And uh, good luck this week for everybody. I hope you all do really well uh, with what you're uh, working on. And we will talk with you in two weeks. And I look forward to listening to your comments and reading your comments and responding to those uh, through our Facebook page. So thank you very much for being with us tonight. I hope you guys have a great day. And we will uh, talk with you soon. Good night. Good night.